guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail, I suppose, how to undertake an F-test uh, to test for the difference between uh, two population variances and how to undertake that using the Data Analysis Tool Pack in Excel. Okay. And like in previous videos that have used the Data Analysis Tool Pack, uh, just for those guys that are using a Mac and have Excel on it, it's very important that you're using Excel 2016 as that is the only package that comes uh, I suppose with the plugin, with the data analysis tool pack plugin for Mac. Uh, all other versions of Excel that are run on Windows should have the data analysis tool pack, so, just, so there should be no problem. Okay, uh, so in this particular video, uh, I've got two variables. I have an, in, let me just get rid of this here, I have an independent variable. Uh, this variable represents uh, the gender of respondents. Uh, and I have a dependent variable, which is the NAQ or composite score. Uh, this is an overall score uh, for each participant uh, that took part of, in this particular experiment, uh, where they were, they were asked to answer a sequence of 22 questions. Uh, each question was trying to ascertain the level of negative acts that was perpetrated on uh, employees within their organization. And the scale ranges uh, from 1 to 5, 1 indicating that there was few negative acts uh, perpetrated, uh, 5 indicating that there, was, that, there was a, that there was a lot of negative acts perpetrated on the individual. So the question that we have here is this. Actually, I suppose this particular test, this F test that we're going to undertake, uh, this test of difference between two variances, uh, is really, well, for my purposes here, it's a preconditional test that's going to allow us to choose which variant of the independent samples t-test to go for, uh, whether to run an independent samples t-test assuming equal population variances, or whether to run the variant of the independent samples t-test uh, assuming unequal population variances. And to make that decision between the t-test the two variants, uh, we need to know whether the population variances that the samples have been drawn from are equal or whether there's evidence to suggest that they're unequal. And as such, we do an F-test uh, to test for those differences and variances. Okay, so as you can see here is my variables, my, dependent, my independent variable, gender, uh, which has two levels of measurement, males and females, and my dependent variable, uh, which is a NAQR, negative acts uh, score, for each participant. Now, Excel, unlike SPSS, where we put the variables in in column format, in, in Excel expects us to have the, the dependent variable listed on the dependent variable values listed under the heading for the independent variable levels. Yeah? So you can see my independent variable has two levels. So I'm going to create two columns here that I've done already, one called male and one called female. And under the male column, I'm going to list down all of the NAQR scales. Uh, scores associated with the males. And under the females column, I'm going to list down all DNA QR scores associated with the females. Okay, so the question I have now is this, is when we look at these two samples, the sample of male responses, okay, male scores on the NAQR questionnaire, and when we look at the sample of female scores on the NAQR questionnaire, is there evidence to suggest that these have been drawn from populations that have the same population variance? Okay. Now, I suppose we could actually just check out what the variances are through running descriptive statistics. And maybe actually that's what I'll do first. I'll just go to data analysis. Uh, I'll go to descriptive statistics. Let me actually do that again. The data analysis uh, tool pack can be found in uh, under the data ribbon. Okay. And I've got it turned on here because it is a plugin. Uh, so I'm going to go across the data analysis tool pack. I'm going to choose descriptive statistics. So there's descriptive statistics. I'm going to hit OK on that. Uh, and it asks me to put in the range, the range of values. OK, so I'm going to put in both data sets. So I'm going to put in my males and my females. And I'm going to highlight all of my values. OK, let me just go down to the end here and make sure that I've highlighted all the values. Actually, we just leave it down to here. OK, uh, there is labels in the first rows. My output range, I'm going to just put in this particular sheet here. So let me just put the output range maybe here. Okay, uh, and I'm going to choose, let's say, summary statistics. I'm just going to hit OK on that. Script of statistics, output range missing. Okay, let me actually maybe go back there. The output range uh, should be, sorry, missed that. The output range I'm just going to put in here. And now I'm just going to hit OK for summary statistics. And having trouble to offset input, output reference. Oh, what's going on here? Labels and first row, summary statistics, 
output range. Okay, let me just check the output range again. Okay, let me go back here. Okay, the output range is this value here. Okay, H3. The input range. Sorry, I've actually oops, I've actually uh, undone the input range. The input range is the males, the females, and it's down to the end of this particular data set. So let me just actually go down there and make sure that we have all of them. Okay, there we go. So now we can hit OK on that, and what we get is we get the descriptive statistics for the males and for the females. Okay, uh, and what we can actually see here if we go down to variance is that the variance. The variance for the males, let's just scroll across a little bit, okay. The variance for the males is 0.288 and the variance for the females is 0.438, okay. Now just a word of caution here, because when you undertake an, a, a test of the difference between two population variances using the F test in, in, in Excel, it's actually a one-tail test that's actually run. Okay. Now, we don't mind whether the male variance is less than the female variance or the male variance is greater than the female variance. Okay, uh, So we don't mind which way this happens. Yeah. Okay. But what we're going to do is this, is that we're going to always make sure, just for convenience, yeah. Okay. that the, the, the group that we input first as our first group, that we input that group that has the largest variance. Okay. So actually, the one that has the largest variance in this case is the females. Okay. They've got a sample variance of 0.4. Or three, and the one that has the smallest variance is the males. They've got a sample variance of 0.288. So when I go to the data analysis to run the F test, I'm going to put in the male group first, sorry, the female group first, and the male group second, which is going to ensure that my test statistic is greater than one. Okay, because the test statistic is going to be the sample variance of the first group divided by the sample variance of the second group. Okay. That's an important thing at this particular stage, uh, which means that we're going to be always looking into the right-hand tail of the F distribution. Now, if we did it the other way around and we put the smaller group in first, divided by the larger group for, to get the F statistic, our test statistic is going to be over the left-hand side, and we're going to have to look into the left-hand tail. Uh, and I think it's better if we actually just work off the right-hand tail, because then we can actually just use the rule if the F statistic is greater than the critical value, well, then we reject the null hypothesis. Whereas in the left-hand tail version, it's if the F statistic is less than the critical value, if that makes sense, yeah? And we reject the null. Okay, so let's run the test. So I'm going to go to data analysis. Uh, I'm going to ask for an F test for two samples, two sample for variances. That's an F test to test the difference of two, two population variances. So I'm going to hit OK on that. And let me just reset this here, get rid of this. Let's just get rid of this here. Okay, and uh, let me get rid of my alpha value. Okay, uh, and let me get rid of the output range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my first variable first. Okay, so I'm going to put in my females. Okay, so I'm going to put the females in first. Okay, uh, so let's get all the female observations in there. There's the females. Okay, they're all in. And now let's put in the male observations. So I'm going to go back up to the data set, include the labels, and I'm going to put in all of the male observations. Just going down here. We have all of the male observations are in now. Uh, and I've already clicked that there's labels in the columns. Yeah, okay, there is labels provided. And uh, now the alpha level, and I'm going to come back to this in a moment. Yeah, okay. We typically self set the significance level before we do the test. Now, depending on the significance level, the significance level, and depending on the type of test, whether it's a two tail test or a one tail test, the amount of area or the amount of, let's say, the amount of probability that's put into it, the tails, is dependent on the alpha value. Now, we're just interested in a two-tailed test, which means that the alpha should be split in half with half the area in the left tail and half the area in the right tail. So if I run this test at the 0 0.05 uh, significance level, okay, the 5% significance level, okay, well then I'm running a two-tailed test. So because the Excel version actually only runs a one tail test. I need to actually tell Excel how much area I'm putting in the right hand tail. So I'm actually going to put in 0 0.025 into the right hand tail. Okay? And then my output range, I'm going to define my output range to be in this particular sheet here. Let's define it to be here. And I'm going to hit OK. And what we get is we get the results of our F test. Okay. So this is an F test, two samples for variances, that's the way it's defined. It's actually a test to test whether these two samples have been drawn from populations that have the same population variance.
And we can see that the average for the males on this particular scale is 1.69 and for the females is 1.49. The variances, as we identified earlier, for the females is 0.43 and for the males is 0.28. Uh, 59 observations.